How has fitness helped you grow as a person? Um, I think fitness, it's taught me patience. It's taught me resilience and um, just showing up, man, because whether or not you're in a bodybuilding scene or you're in the running scene, it takes so much time to get where you want. And same correlation with higher level, man. It's took me years to find manufacturing, years to launch a business. It took me years to get into social media, to build a following. And it took me uh, over, I've been working out consistently for nearly a decade, like very hard. I got in like when I was a, a freshman in uh, high school, like our football workouts, bro. And I was hitting it hard. And, um, it just taught me how to consistently show up for who I want to be, no matter if I feel shitty, I feel great. And most of the time after the workout, I feel amazing. And if I'm able to go through those small simulations or the small wins every day, I always, I know that I've been through hard shit. I can do something else that's even harder. And I know that, know that pain. That's where fitness has, has helped me. Like, you know, okay, shit, this happened. What's next? Okay. It's okay. I can, I can keep moving forward. I'm on my two legs, bro. I'm not dead. Am I? So that's where fitness helped me. When you think about the word legacy. Yeah. What comes to mind? What is the legacy that you're trying to leave? I want to leave an impression on people that is obviously motivating, inspiring, but to show people that you can build truly whatever you're passionate about, whatever, if it's an ice cream shop, if it's, you are a painter, you are in galleries. If you bet on yourself a hundred times over, you can and will do everything that that you imagine yourself going to be doing in the future and to build companies and that could stand the test of time i want to be able to inspire people to truly bet on themselves and um i think the legacy will continue to adapt and evolve on what i want it to be but for right now that's that's what i think would be my legacy and you know hopefully in the future when i'm long time when i'm gone my grandkids are set to be able to pursue what they want and my kids are set to pursue what they want and they take something from what i built as an entrepreneur as as an athlete and they admire what we did and hopefully it inspires them to do it too if you could go back and have a conversation with 20 year old, 21 year old Joey, what would be the biggest piece of advice that you'd give him? I think the biggest piece of advice I would give to my 20 year old self um, would be you're, you're on the right path, dude. You know, everything that you're doing is, is exactly where you want to be. And for you to just keep pushing forward and to feel like you were not in the right place is exactly where you needed to be. And I wish I knew that back then that I was like, I'm, I'm right where I need to be. And that all that stress and anxiety are like, cause back in like, dude, when I was like doing 75 hard and stuff, like I was going through like a really, it's like, so it's like depressing being at home and seeing everybody do all this get jobs and shit like that and you know start making money and you're you're making no money you're living at home and um just to to reaffirm that i'm doing the right thing and it was it was okay 